Christina Applegate, Symphony to Apple Bombs. It don't mask and say nothing when you ask what's wrong. That's what's up. And they can laugh it up, and it don't pass the buck. Nothing's Hi, everybody. So glad you're with us. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and we welcome you to the MGM Grand here on the Vegas Strip in beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada. The site for our championship fight. 12 rounds in the heavyweight division, and the anticipation for this bout has grown as the week has gone on. A lot of talk behind these two. Now it's time to walk the walk. The babyface assassin is the kind of fighter who you just know has no self-doubt. Look at the way he's making his way down to the ring right now. You can see it in his eyes. The Flash is a guy who you can see is supremely confident in his abilities. 36 minutes still ahead of him here, round one of 12. the counter. Yeah, disappear on him, and then all of a sudden appear on him. Able to dismiss that body shot. Scored well with the hook. Good flush nice shot upstairs. seconds to go here in this round. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. Keep working that jab, baby! is hitting the mark right now. How precise was he there with that three-punch combo? Unable to score with the hook. Nice defense. Good block by the babyface assassin. Here we go. Round two is underway. That's a forceful two-punch combo by the babyface assassin. <laughs> the babyface assassin is able to land a good, solid left hand. Nice block by the babyface assassin. Scored well up top. That is boxing 101. A nice, crisp combination by the babyface assassin. And now we got a fight. He fires back a right hand of his own. Watch the hook. Watch the hook. Come on. Babyface Assassin is giving his opponent headaches here now. He's throwing punches, but he's able to block them away. A crushing two-punch combo by the Babyface Assassin. That's a big uppercut that just crashed home. He's not able to land the headshot. There you go. Side to side. Accurate with the straight left. 
gets rid of that. It was intended for his head. Keep going. Little volume punching to the body there. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. The flash's ability to get to his opponent. Double up when you jab. Then the right, okay? And round number three is underway. Good combination to the body. Targeting that straight left hand. Left and right, left and right. Come on, baby. That is a strong uppercut there. Good job, boy. Good job. Flash's combination punching here is showing you what good boxing is all about. Three punches thrown, three punches landed. Teddy, we hear a lot of people talking about where are the next great fighters coming from? In your eyes, I mean, you're around gyms all over the country, all over the world. Where are they coming from? Well, Joe, I'll tell you where they're not coming from. They're not coming from football anymore. In the old days, the big guys, instead of going on the football field, Somebody would look to make them into the next heavyweight champ. But now they're going to college, Come they're on, going man, to places right. where they find it a little bit of an easier travel. And we're losing a lot of those athletes. Inside, inside. Right. That's good, stop, stop. good. Come on, kid. Focus now. I need you to focus. Bro. Protecting his head well with his guard. The flash is showing that he was well trained, utilizing the uppercut when he's chest to chest, shoulder to shoulder against his opponent here. Oh, you have to recognize situations, and he understands on the inside that's exactly what you should be doing. When your opponent has his gloves up, there's an opening to split the guard, especially when he's leaning forward, and he's leaning forward just a little bit. And that's the end of round three. The Flash is pitching a shutout right now on Teddy's scorecard. First three rounds all going on his side of the ledger. Targeting the uppercut, and it works. Good work defensively by the babyface assassin. Plus, he landed that counterpunch. Yeah, and he forced him to punch. He made him, he drew it out of him, and then he timed him beautifully. A solid uppercut by the Flash. Targeting a left hand down low. The Flash is the kind of boxer that wants to do just that. Find the targets, get the combination working, land both punches. You see what happens when he commits to the uppercut? Look at that, great work there. The babyface assassin, so dangerous with that accuracy, a two-punch combination landing. 90 seconds to go in round number four. The Flash is on the wrong end of a razor-sharp hook. Uppercut to the inside. Teddy, this is like a horror film in this ring right now. There's blood everywhere coming from that cut of his. Yeah, well, the only thing that matters right now is Freddy Krueger needs to throw a good Keep left hook. Baby, move, move, move. Nice block by the babyface assassin. A well-placed left hand up top. And right from the start, he's throwing the power punches and landing them. I think he has a date and he wants to get to it. The Flash is impressing the judges and himself with that right hand. Oh, you see him with the left of the head there? down the final moments of this round how about that left hand and that's the end of round four now that he's back in the corner we get a close-up look the flash is cut even looks worse and it's up to the fighter now Joe for his attitude not to change you know we can look at it and we could say wow that cut looks worse the fans can look at it and say that but the fighter must be steady the same attitude 
as though he doesn't have a cut. Otherwise, he has no chance of winning this fight. The baby-faced assassins tagged. Flash is left, landing well. He needs to improve that accuracy, miss with the headshot. Targeting that overhand left. The Flash is putting forth that hard work he did in training camp there, landing a crisp combination. He took a shot, but he gives one of his own. A left hand scores. Halfway into round number five here. Scores up top with a left. The babyface assassin is just not throwing many jabs here tonight, Teddy. I know that really bothers you. You like a guy that commits to the jab, don't you? Well, that's boxing 101. I mean, that's the fundamentals. And it has so many areas where it serves you. I mean, it sets up your punches. It sets up your offense. But it controls your defense. Keeps the guy at a certain distance. Gives the guy something to think about. Just the most basic thing in the world. Yeah, that's it. Fine work with the left hand. He landed well by the baby face assassin. The flash is still shaking after feeling that uppercut. Good left there. Good flush shot upstairs. That's a well-scored left hand by the babyface assassin. End of the round here. And as I glance take a page out of the book of Sugar Ray Leonard Marvin Hagler, where Leonard stole rounds at the end, where he just clipped off 30 seconds, and that's exactly what the judges remembered. Putting his punches together, good combination by the babyface assassin. Flash has done a good job there, offensively scoring with that left hand. The babyface assassin's defense is now serving him well. Nice job blocking that punch. Super two-punch combo by the babyface assassin. See, the defense pays off as he gets rid of that downstairs. to cover up that gut. Uppercut, come on champ, throw that uppercut. Reaching the halfway point of round number six. A freight train uppercut by the Flash. Solid left hand. The Flash is doing damage on the inside with the uppercut here. Yeah, but he's got to be careful he don't go to the well once too often because, and he's got to be careful that he stays true to his technique because if he drops that hand for the uppercut just a little bit, there's going to be an opening for his opponent to counter him. Nice. Wow, what an nice. uppercut. Final 10 seconds of the sixth round. Punches and bunches. Let's see it. Let the fist go. Let him go. And that's the end of round six. The Flash is in control of this fight, Teddy. Sometimes you can just look at it and see it as clear as day. He's ahead on the scorecards. Yeah, I have my head on my scorecard, too. But right now, he can't afford to coast because this guy is still dangerous. He has to still stay on his piece and shoes. Really good work right there, landing the two punches in sequence by the babyface assassin. And makes that nice right angle on that hook upstairs. The Flash's work in training camp is now paying off. Do you see the accuracy and the effectiveness with that combination? And now he brings the left hand upstairs. What a chin. Can you believe the shots this guy's absorbing? And more importantly, can his opponent believe it? You know what? You want to hit a guy. So you figure that that's a good thing. That's an encouraging thing. 
This is a case where his opponent might get discouraged just by seeing his guy take those kind of shots. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by the Flash. In and out, in and out. See, that's what you want from his left hand. That's exactly what it should be doing, that left hand by the babyface assassin. Punching. Oh boy, big shot up top. He brings an uppercut that really does damage there. Big, big shot to the head. He left a hole, it was closed. And that's the end of round seven. The Flash's corner is really pleased, and you can see as the encouragement continues here at the start of round number eight, they know the way the scorecards most likely read, just like yours reads, Teddy, where he's enjoying a comfortable lead. Yeah, he has a little bit of a dilemma, a good dilemma. Does he go for it now? Because he's fresh. He can go after him, and he can continue pushing him downhill. Or does he coast a little bit? Wow, a big flush blow, the left hand by the babyface assassin. Babyface assassin landing a combination here. That's what he does when he's at his very best. Able to block that away. It was targeted for his head. Solid left hand to the head. Good biting, snapping shot by the babyface assassin. A solid true uppercut by the flash. And now he scores with that left to the body. What a crushing blow up top he just landed. That's why you don't pull straight back. The baby-faced assassin's got to feel that right there. He was just tagged by a big uppercut. Able to cover up along the belt line, blocks that one. Well-targeted two-punch combo by the baby-faced assassin. Good defense, just covering up down low. Punch, 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 that's it. And now you see the southpaw pulling the trigger with the straight left. Let's see some more head movement. Oh, a nice two-punch combo by the babyface assassin. To the head he goes with a left hand. Three minutes gone by in this round. Flash they have to make sure that they buy some time here and start moving their head, using their legs, tying up a little bit, doing anything to kill the clock and not get caught on that cut anymore. He digs in with a left hand to the body. The Flash's knowledge of the game is showing through. Three ways to defend. One of them is to block. He did it there well. Able to time that left hand and score with it. Focus! Focus! Both men digging in with uppercuts. Good defense upstairs to stay away from that offensive assault. Relax, come on now, relax. Deep breathe. Little head hunting with the left. Halfway through the ninth round. Left and right, left and right. Head movement, head movement. Boy, that worked out well with the uppercut. There you go. Way to block there. Kid, focus now. I need you to focus. 
Well, the Flash is starting to score at ease against his opponent there. Anytime you can land a three-punch combination, you're really hitting your groove. A headshot blocked. The Flash is left, working well that time. Taking a whooping, baby. Come on now, what's going on? And now they start round number 10. Good solid shots with the combo downstairs. Parries that punch intended for the head. Precision work with the left hand by the baby face assassin. Oh, and he comes back with an uppercut there after getting hit. Inside, inside. That's good, good. Jab. Pop the jab. You back the jab. and Use forth the they go, each man getting the best of it. The baby face assassin is coming through now beautifully. That's the combination punching he wants to put forth. His opponent wanted the body. He wouldn't give it to him. Babyface assassin swinging and missing like he's at bat right there. That punch was nowhere near his opponent. Nice work, the left hand to the head. Takes a step back, then the counter punch by the babyface assassin. Very similar to what you see Floyd Mayweather do. You know, make a miss. Pull that shoulder back and then come right back with the counter. The babyface assassin at his best when the combinations are landing. He scored well there with that combo. Comes right back at him with a left hand. You're not focusing. You're not focusing. Counting down towards the end of the 10th round, 10 seconds to go. Nice solid left hand scored by the baby face assassin. And round 10. Let's box smart. Well, I'm curious to see how this is going to play out here. He does have a slight lead on your scorecard through 10 rounds, Teddy. But I am not convinced that that's the way it's going to look when all is said and done. Well, there's been a lot of close rounds here tonight, Joe. This is the kind of fight where there hasn't been much to separate each other in many of those pivotal rounds. So I think the corner plays into it right now. What they tell their guy. Do they tell him that they're winning or do they lie to him? And say you're a little behind to try to kick it into a higher gear. The Flash has got something to think about now. He just threw a punch and had one coming right back at him. His opponent scored well with the counter. Scored well with that straight left. Up top. Blocks away that headshot. And the ref's not going to tolerate the headbutt there. He hands out the warning. 90 seconds to go in this 11th round. Stay away from those. Come on. The Flash's defense is it ever good. Look at how easy he's able to block those punches. The babyface assassins. Combination punching is working well here. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Blocks it away. And just like that, things turn around. And yet another big shot comes in. Oh, he doesn't look good. He just went down and not the way he wanted it to go. No, he's standing on the outside, Joe. He shouldn't be standing there. The old timers would say, take a walk around the block. The Flash's three-punch combination there is going to impress the judges. There's a nice left hand able to get in. 
Listen, that's the kind of round that puts fans on their feet, but the kind of round that gets a corner man anxious. What do you tell a guy after he's been in a back and forth brawl like that? Move your head, keep your hands up, you know, don't get caught with those shots. We worked in the gym to get away from those shots. And one other thing, we gotta give him a little confidence. We find this. Hey, we train for a tough fight, you're ready for this. Here's one for you now, he says, right back with the left hand. The baby-faced assassins, wow! Oh, and now the real test. Can he get up after going Three. down a second time? Three. Four. Five. I give him a lot of credit for even getting up from that knockdown, but he still has to impress and move forward here. Yeah, I applaud him. I give him credit, but I also recognize that he's in good shape. That's one of the reasons he got up. There's the headshot, but he parries it away. The baby-faced assassin's got to be feeling the impact of that uppercut. And now they're trading blows. The Flash's ability to properly throw and land his combinations has been stunning. Teddy, why is he so successful? Because you just said it, he's putting them together. You know, one or two wouldn't land, but he's handcuffing the guy. And the first two punches, they set up the third and fourth. He digs in with an uppercut after blocking that shot away. <laughs> uppercut, come on champ, throw that uppercut. A well-placed left hand up top. He had his eyes set on the uppercut, but was unable to land it. And another right hand comes in. The flash is left now. He is not in good shape. Did you see that? He goes down in the later stages of this round. He's going to try to survive it. Three. Stand up. Stand up. Competitive throughout. Who got it? To find out, we send it up to the ring. Seemed like he was destined to win throughout the fight. Teddy, your scorecard showed that, and the judges agree. Unanimous decision. Yeah, he was destined to win because he kept using that jab all night long and outworking his opponent. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. That does it ringside. We'll see you soon.